guys, this is Doug with Break Tech. Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to continue working on our skeleton CSS project. Uh, so far, we are working on the Hamsa Lightbox theme from Unbounce. We have just finished this gray section, and we're going to move on to the testimonials below it. So here, it looks like we have a couple of rows. We've got this row with just the word testimonials in it that is floated to the left. Then we have two more columns uh, and they are 50% and 50% then we got a couple of little images and we have the names and that is it for this section so the last video ran way longer than I had intended so let's try and make this one quick so let's shoot back over to our HTML and we're gonna start a new section here I'm gonna create a new comment and in this section we're gonna have testimonials So in our testimonial section, I'm going to give myself a little space here. In our testimonial section, we're going to start off with another container. And in that container, we're going to have a row. In that row, in that row, we're just actually going to have just an H2, and it's going to be testimonials. Below that, we're going to have another row. And in there, we're going to actually have the columns. We're going to have um, two six width columns. And in this one, I, I'm again just going to do one and then copy another copy of it below to add the second. So inside of this, we have, I think it was uh, some lorem and a paragraph tag. And we want a little bit more text here. Maybe like to here. So there's some text. Below the text we had an image. And that image um, I just called the, the guy I called bro. And that's .jpg. And then after the image, we had just the name of the guy. So that can be like, a, we make that like an H3 or an H4. Make it an H4. And we'll call him, I don't think it matters, but what did our site call him? Michael Ruffle. So we'll just stick with the same name. And it's all caps, which is fine. All right, so let's save that and just look at how it looks. Relo our live reload is reloading, hopefully. I'm trying to establish a secure, secure connection. I left this open and it may not work. I may have to open a new one. All right, so it did work. Um, so it looks like we forgot to close off the services section. because we shouldn't have that gray background. So let's go ahead and try and do that. Not sure how this all got messed up. Maybe I had it this way all along and I just didn't realize it. There's my container, there's my services. I actually need to be in one. That needs to be in one, which means this needs to be in one as well. And what is this? The row? I feel like this is all messed up. That needs to be there. That needs to be there. This probably is from when I copied and pasted and didn't fix it. So we'll just fix our tabs here and we should be good to go. All right, I think that looks good. Let's save that. So our services section should be complete. So we should now have just a white background and we do. So we're gonna have to add some padding and some styling to the images. If you look back at our source photo, 
uh, you can see we have a round picture and in that round picture or that round picture has it looks like just a maybe a two pixel border so let's go ahead and add a class to that so that we can style those and that class we'll call like profile since we'll have two of these and we'll just for the sake of accessibility we'll add an alt tag and we'll just call this bro well, I guess call it let's call it profile picture all right so if we jump over into our styles we can go to the dot profile class the first thing we'll do is we'll style the image so we want to make a border radius of 50% to make it a circle and then we want a border of two pixels solid and we want that yellow color which is I think this one right here and let's go ahead and see what that looks like all right, that's pretty close. I think maybe the border should be just a little wider. Let's go like three pixels. I know that's not, it's kind of nitpicky, but I want it to look pretty close. I think that looks pretty good. And then his name is is beneath. I think probably we want to center those images as well inside the container. Let's see what an auto margin does for us. Let's see, is it centered here? No, it's not. It's to the left. We could also float the image left, which was one of our helper classes. I think it was you float left, you pull left. So let's see what happens if we add the you pull left to our image. Which is, I know I was thinking about centering, but this is closer to what our source is supposed to have. So that's okay. But now we want to center the text vertically. Which we could do a couple of different ways. Um, probably the easiest way would just be to add, just inspecting the name here would be just to add, I think we want to add a little bit of a margin around this name and maybe a little padding to, to sort it out. So let's put a class on the H4 as well. And we'll call it name. So come back here and say dot name. And we'll like give it like 15 pixels of margin all around. And see how that looks. We're having an issue here. It looks like our icons have disappeared and I'm not sure why. So we'll look into that here in a minute. Maybe our live reload just isn't working. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Go back to our project and just try to reopen it and see if that fixes everything. It could certainly be an issue with my internet connection. I'm on a, a wireless connection and it's not great. Um, since we pulled from the CDN, the only thing missing right now is the images that we're grabbing from the web. So I think that's probably what the issue is. So as expected, I went ahead and opened up, oops, let me pull it back up. I went ahead and opened up and inspected the page in Chrome and I do have one error. 
I have failed to load the resource from the Bootstrap CDN. I'm not sure why it was working before and it's not now, um, but it has something to do with my wireless, I'm pretty sure. So unless you lose access to the internet, those icons should be there. The way we could fix that is to simply download from Font Awesome's website, the Font Awesome CSS files uh, or the font, and we could have in imported those manually um, using uh, using the style. Um, I'm sorry, using the the link HTML tag at the top, and that would have fixed this problem. However, uh, since this is only a problem when I'm on wireless and otherwise works, or if it were live on a web server, it would work. Um, I'm not going to do anything about changing that at this point. Uh, so you should see your icons there as long as you have internet access, or it could be a, it could even be a problem with the CDN right now. Although generally there's not a problem with the CDN because uh, it'll serve from a different server if if there's a problem. But there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that, and we can move on with uh, with this section. So I'm gonna open up that name and inspect it again, and we'll go back to our elements because I'm just curious what the the margins are. There's your H4. Our H4 is display block. So we may want to just do another display inline block as well. Since we want to have it um, display next to the image. So let's go ahead and take our go back into our HTML here. Uh, so let's take our name class and make it display inline block. Let's see if that fixes it for us. All right, so now we have our margins there. And we can put a little padding on top to kind of center it a little better. And we could measure this to see exactly how far it is, but I'm not going to do that um, for this for the purposes of this project. So I'll go ahead and just put 15 pixels on top and see if that about centers it. And that looks pretty close. We could maybe make that 20. Yeah, and I think 20 looks perfect. Okay, so we do need to add some padding to the top of the testimonials and our, it's been, we've been consistently using 50 pixels in between each section. So I wanna go ahead and add uh, 50 pixels on top of that as well. So let's go back to our HTML and see how we labeled that. So it was our testimonials H2. So let's go ahead and give that a class of, um, we can give that, a, we, what we could have done and what I was just thinking about is that we could have just given all of our um, headings their own, a, a set class that would have just styled um, for the new heading. Uh, for the new section and always included the padding on the top but since we haven't done it this far we'll go ahead and just do it the way we've been doing it but you could certainly do that and it would be a lot cleaner way to, to use your CSS but we'll just call this um, testimonial for the testimonial section so we can go to dot testimonial and we'll add padding top of 50 pixels. And I think that's pretty much it for that section. Um, the only other thing we need to do is add in the second column and then change the profile picture. So we have this row has two columns. We'll make sure we watch our tabs on this one. Yeah, see we have the same problem as before. We fix our tabs and then we have a different image I call this one Brodette also a profile picture and then uh, this is a female so we can call her we'll call her Michelle we'll call her We'll call her Michelle. God, this is the hardest part of the whole video. <laughs> we'll call her Michelle Jones. Let's save that and have a look. All right, so it looks pretty good. We've got the two testimonials. We have the two profile pictures. So what is next 
looks like the next thing we're going to be developing on this page is going to be this just says licensed and insured I call this like past clients and I just said that you know this would be like some logos of past clients so that's what we'll do in the next section we'll add this gray section with licensed and insured as a title and then we'll add some placeholder images that could have been logos all right I'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video please click like and subscribe my name is Doug and this has been BrickTech